Immigration has been a controversial issue for European leaders in the run-up to the European elections. As voters head to the polls on Thursday, we visit a scheme in the Netherlands where refugees can train in skills that are, that are in short supply with a good chance of securing a job. So in the latest of our special reports this week, our economics correspondent Andrew Walker is in Amsterdam to speak to the first refugee to complete the programme. Mohanad Salha is 24 years old. He's a newly qualified electrician working here on a new housing development in Almere near Amsterdam. But he and his elder brother came to the Netherlands as refugees fleeing the war in Syria. It was tough at first. The beginning of being in a new country, you have to know if you can stay in this country or not. And this process will take a minimum one year till two years. You're on the country that you know nobody here, you have no connections, no family, really no one. But life is brighter now. He has a secure job and is settled here. Integrating refugees has been a politically sensitive challenge across Europe, but many can and do make a valuable contribution to their host countries. The Netherlands is enjoying sunny economic weather, high living standards, moderate government debt and unemployment that's close to the lowest in the EU. But that brings its own problems for Dutch business. Certain skills are in very short supply and some companies are taking pretty unusual steps to deal with it. Tessa van der Marle runs a novel programme at the Dutch electrical grid operator Leander, which sponsors and supports training for refugees. It helps fill a yawning gap in the company's workforce. The shortage of technicians uh, poses a challenge for the entire energy sector. So it's really hard to find uh, experienced technical staff in the Netherlands. For example, um, a mechanic in Amsterdam can choose from 30 different jobs. It was Leander's programme that gave Muharad Salha his big break. He's one of the first former refugees to receive the diploma needed to work as an electrician. I work here a full-time job with uh, 40 hours per week and the contract is for five years. And when it's finished, there is a chance to have another one. Depends on how, we, how, how you do your work here and uh, if you do good. The Dutch government is watching to see if Leander's scheme could be used more to help refugees and to fill a skills gap facing the economy. Andrew Walker, BBC News, Amsterdam.